Hi everybody, this is Brent Warner at edtech.tv. I hope you're doing well. Uh, a lot of the times on these tutorials and walkthroughs, I introduce a new service or app, but today I'm going to stick with one that probably a lot of us are really familiar with, uh, but just one particular little trick or tip that I learned that helped me out a ton. So the question is, how do I compare drafts and revisions in Turnitin? Uh, for those of you who are uh, used to working with Turnitin, it's a great service, uh, but I always had problems because I had to jump back and forth between different revisions if I'm creating you know, multiple drafts and having my students do rewrites. And so I finally figured out the best way to actually compare what they wrote without having to you know, um, click the little menu button and jump back and forth and try and remember where I was looking. So we're going to do a mini lesson in Turnitin. This is a little bit different format than normal, but I hope you like it. And if you do, uh, shoot me a little tweet at edtechtv just to let me know because I might do more of them if it's useful for you. And for now, let's take a look at how to compare multiple drafts or revisions. Once you're in Turnitin, you'll do your uh, grade mark section as usual. But one of the things you're going to want to check is to uh, compare it against your previous versions. And, you know, I have multiple versions, so I want to make sure that I'm comparing it against the most recent version. So to do that, I'm going to go to Originality. And, of course, right now it's just kind of giving me the one percenters. So this means, you know, the student is not plagiarizing. Um, but I do want to see how they did in comparison to their previous essay. And so right now they're at 2% similar. Uh, that's going to grow in just a second. I'm going to go down here to the excluded sources. So when I click on this, it gives me the previous versions, the previous drafts that this student submitted. And uh, to find out exactly which one I want, I could just hover over them. If I hover, it says, okay, that's the 26th. That's the 23rd. That's the 17th. So I want the most recent version. I'll click on it and I will restore it, meaning that it's no longer excluded uh, from the comparisons. So I'll restore it. Now <laughs> my group goes up way to 66%, uh, meaning that 64% is similar to the essay and uh, you know the rest of it is newer revisions, which is nice. That's, uh, you know, for my per particular class in this assignment, that sounds about right. That's what I'm looking for. So um, so then I have that information there and I can look right here and just see the red parts are where they made, uh, they're the same as before and the white parts are the changes. But I might also want to look it up side by side specifically. So to do that, I just uh, click on the one that I want and it'll give me, you know, the information about the student and, you know, all the, the changes that they made. Uh, but I am going to go right here to the little view source and a web page, and that'll pop me into a new page. And I can look at this draft, their previous draft, uh, side by side with their original draft, and I can really see specifically if they paid attention to the notes that I made for them or not. So that's how you look at them side by side. Really uh, doesn't take a lot of time once you figure out how to do it, but I did not know how to do this for the longest time, and it was such a pain because I was always doing the uh, the little drop down menu up here, and you know, clicking back and forth between the different revisions and assignments and all those, and it's just too much work. So with this way, all you have to do is look at them side by side, and you are good to go. So that's it, short and sweet. Uh, today's homework is. No homework. Enjoy your day off. Uh, you might be smiling more than the kids if you get your day off. So uh, that's it for today, guys. It's a mini lesson. I just hope it was useful for you. Um, of course, I do encourage and enjoy when you follow me and talk to me on Twitter, at EdTechTV. Instagram is getting uh, bigger and bigger every day. It's cool. I really am enjoying my Instagram account at EdTechTV, Facebook, all those places. Um, I have to say I'm spending most of my time on Twitter and Instagram right now. So uh, come find me and I would love to hear from you. Hope all's going well and we'll talk to you soon.